So I got my postcard in. Uh, hopefully this will give me a bit of a better idea of what's going on with this computer. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the postcard, it is not a small piece of correspondence that you affix a stamp to and send it to whomever. It's a little device. This one is made for ISA and PCI bus. You literally just stick it right in a free slot and the LEDs on the top right will light up to show, you know, plus and minus 12 volt, plus and minus 5 volt off the power supply, what kind of uh, operations are occurring within the bus itself. You can test bus speed, you can see if your reset pin is stuck, anything like that. These two readouts will give you the error code. That expansion is for a little tiny uh, version of this same display with the same button. I guess none of this really matters. Let's just uh, see if it works. All right, the postcard is installed. I had to take out the modem to fit it in there because of that little riser cable thingy, but here we go. Let's see what she says. Well, it looks like one of the LEDs is bad on this board, which is awesome, but that does say 4036 in there. It's one of the... I wonder if negative voltage is not working right, or... I wonder if something's wrong with the power supply, too, because that doesn't look right. just counting through every hexadecimal digit. Sure looks like it. I guess that's the self-test. That's the self-test. So 4036. I wonder what that actually means. So like 36 is empty for AMI BIOSes in this book and 40 is preparing the descriptor tables next and I don't know what that means. So this this didn't help much, which is unfortunate. All right, so the manual admittedly says to uh, unplug basically every card that you've got in a computer before you start all this, which I ignored because I ignore directions. Anyway, I've done this now, except the you know CD-ROM controller card is still just kind of hanging out because I can't get that little digital audio lead off without damaging something because it's so tiny and fragile, but I'd never actually taken all the cards out of this computer before, and I'm uh, both happy and sad that I have done so now because that sure doesn't look good. Let's see if I can get a little more light in there, but you can see some... Uh leaky battery problems up here. There's actually what seems to be a trace actively lifting off the board, which, wow, that's that's horror. Uh, this entire ISA slot is literally just patinaed to death. I don't know how that happened on one card and one card only, but boy, oh boy, does this controller card sure not look like it's in good shape. Um, I mean... What is even going on with this thing? It's got like, just, it's, yeesh. So yeah, this, I am almost positive this is absolutely going to need a new controller card at the very least. Um, and if anyone can actually tell me, well, let me find it. <laughs> if anyone can actually tell me what this weird little card is, I would love to know, because I don't know what it does. It's got this little 8-pin port on the back. Looks like it's by Guts. 
GSIF Revision A by Guts. I looked it up and I didn't come across anything hugely illuminating, but I don't know. Anyway, let's try this thingy again. that was horrifying. I have unplugged the hard drives from power because while I don't actually expect they work anymore, I don't exactly want them to literally shake themselves to death, whatever that horrible noise was. Anyway, unpopulated except for the postcard. Let's see what kind of results we get this time. So we do only get the plus 12, the plus 5, no 3v3, which doesn't surprise me because this is an isobus. Still getting to the stupid 4036 code, though, which tells me nothing. Reset light up. Yep, sure did. <phone rings> 312F is what it was hanging out on when it was beeping. Let me look that up. Okay, so yeah, 312F makes perfect sense. 31 being the display memory read write test retrace check failed, and 2F being EGA VGA controller not found. Both would make perfect sense because there's not a card in there. So that's something, I guess. All right, well, let's uh, try it with the video card and the controller card repopulated. Not expecting there to be much difference this time either, but follow the directions, I guess. The hard drives sure no longer sound like they're gonna. Eighty-five eighty-three is new. <laughs> Eighty-five is the memory size check is done. Eighty-three is the command byte was written and it's checking for a locked key next. I had two beeps. What are those two beeps about? Beep codes for AMI. Parity error in first 64k. Aw oh, come on. Don't do this. You know, it'd probably be a good idea if I was to plug in my monitor when I'm doing all this stuff now that I've replugged in the GPU. I guess this switch is called a VGA card. It's a little too. I wonder which drive it is that's doing that, because that's horrifying. There's a valid VGA signal being received by the monitor, but it's sure not displaying anything, and it's still on 8583. This is the weirdest thing. All right, repopulated everything except the modem. Let's see if anything different happens, which I expect not. It is reliably landing on that now, instead of giving me the 1-8 beep code. Give it a quick reset, see if it'll do it again. Huh. Just as a sanity check, I've completely removed all the RAM. Let's see what happens now. 
Maybe I should have called this an insanity check. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like I got no RAM. Yeah, you have no RAM. It's okay. I know. I did this to you on purpose. There. You have your RAM again. Are you happy? Probably not. Let's find out. At least you recognize that you have RAM. So we are consistently getting this new error code now. I wonder what I did.